Numeron Trap Tricks, baby! Let's go! The best trap deck in the game! Let's go! This will destroy every deck except Pendulum. Pendulum best deck. But it's only the best deck if you play on a pen trip gaming play mat. So get yours now and go check out my boy Portal down below. He's gonna be doing a uh, guest upload of uh, Portal here. Uh, let's go. It's gonna be an amazing video. So everyone, go check out this video. Stay tuned to the end of the video. And you're gonna see just why Numero Trap Tricks is the best trap deck in the game. Smash the subscribe button, boys, before you go. And without further ado, let's check out the Trap Goo. Let's go. Uh, Triff here. I'm kidding. Bortle here from the Team Bortle YouTube channel. My goodness. Hello, everyone. Guess what? I am invading Triff Gaming today. Yes, that's right. I am invading Triff's channel today, man. I need to show the world the Numeron Goo. And guess what? It features traps. So let's go ahead and check out the Goo. Before I show you the Goo, though, I need to shout out Team Bortle. That channel is nice. Oh, God, yes. So let's go ahead and cook the goo. Let's get, whoa, whoa. Oh, real quick, I need to move my top 32 YCS top cut max, guys. My good, up. Oh, forgot there's two of them. All right, let's go ahead and check the goo. I know what you're thinking. Bortle, how does this work? Guess what? I am going to tell you how it works. What is the mindset behind this goo? What you're seeing in front of you, okay? Hey guys, guess what? Um, there's a reason why it's not a live deck profile, okay? I do have these cards. I kid you not. Look, I have the Numeron Core right here in my hands. Yes, guys, before I received this Numeron Core through the mail in my pre-order, check it out, guys. Core is all there, okay? It, it's all there, guys. I, I'm not making it up, it's all there. I lost $100 before I got this Core in value. Oh my goodness. Anyway, guys, check this out. This is a really small core, okay? It works perfectly. Why? I'm gonna explain to you during the deck profile, guys. Let's go ahead and just jump right into it, all right? Oh, quick shout out to Celine, by the way. I'm not sure why, but um, it's it's cool. I, I think it's a pretty decent card and maybe pendulums or something. Weird. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the deck profile. Scythe. Okay, there's one copy here. Um, yeah. All right, next, we have Ash Blossom. All right, guys, obviously, this deck wants to go first, okay? Because, basically, it's Trap Tricks featuring Numerons. All right, guys? So, Ash Blossom at three. Let's go ahead and just talk about our hand traps real quick. Ghost Ogre at two. Okay, basically, we wanted to, to maximize the efficiency of our hand traps going second. Because, obviously, we want to go first. But, guess what, we can't win all the dice rolls, alright? Well, in this case, rock, paper, scissors. Now, we have infinite impermanence. This is probably the best hand trap for this deck. Why? It's a normal trap to trigger Sarah, guys. My goodness. Alrighty, so there you have it. We have eight hand traps, guys. Ogre is probably one of the best hand traps in this format alone. Why? Because of this card right here, Numeron Network. If you can hold on to your Ogre for this Numeron Network, you're in there, guys. Oh, but guess what? I have an answer to all the hand traps if I'm facing against hand traps. Call by the grave, guys. Yes, that is right. If you attempt to ash my network or ghost ogre my network, I'm gonna slap Call by the Grave down. And guess what? It is also a quick play, so I can use this as a pseudo trap, just in case someone red reboots me. Uh, weird. And I can also, like, Call by the Wave, L, let's get that out of here, negates its effect, all right? And, like, block dragons, stuff like that. Alrighty, so we did our hand trap explanation. Now let's talk about our normal summons, guys. Four Mud Skipper. Oh man, alrighty, I did a previous deck profile over this stuff, this engine, why I'm playing it, but guess what? Um, yes, yes, you are peaking the extra deck right now. That is why this card is nuts. Alrighty guys, basically this is another Trap Tricks monster, alright? It's a pseudo Trap Tricks monster, okay guys? That is why I'm maximizing this card at 3. Alrighty, basically this is a win condition right here. When I get into the extra deck, I'll explain why. Let's go ahead and move on. Now, we have two copies of Dianea. Alrighty guys, you're already thinking, why two, why not three? Space is pretty tight in this deck, and this does nothing going first, alright? It does nothing. It does a lot of stuff going uh, turns three and so on, but we want to win quickly 
This deck is not made to grind, all right? So let's get to it. Mantis. Okay, obviously, if you're... If you don't... Obviously, if you're not able to open the Numeron combo, just fall back on your normal Trap Tricks combo, guys. Alrighty, so that's why Mantis is in here at max out at 3, because it can search for Dianea. Alright, moving on. We have Trap Tricks Mermillo at 3. This card is ridiculous, because when it's special, it pops back row, okay? And it searches Trap Holes. Let's move on. Alrighty, now we have our win button, Double or Nothing. Guys, if for some weird reason you're grinding out and your opponent is like, okay, cool, I'm just gonna set a monster after Zexal resolves, they lose. Alright, let's go ahead and show you the rest of the deck. Numeron Engine. Numeron Calling 1, Network 3, that's it? That is it. Guys, all you need is the one Numeron Calling, okay? That's all you need. Obviously, you need Network and Calling to combo off each other, alright? And then once it happens, then we're gonna go ahead and talk about it in a second. I want to explain the main deck quickly though. The rest of the main deck. Obviously, terraforming for the Numeron network to search it. Alright, you're not always gonna open the Numeron combo. And again, if you don't, just fall back with your trap combo, guys. Alrighty? And obviously, the hand traps are in there to stun your opponent so they don't kill you or make an insane field. Alrighty? So, moving on to the traps. We are playing Artifact Sanctum. Alrighty, again, if you can't make a Zexal, you have Sanctum in sight to stun your opponent for that turn, guys. And guess what? Even if you have Zexal, you can just activate Sanctum just cause so you can have a Scythe with your Zexal. Alrighty, moving on. We have Compulse. This is probably one of the best traps in the game, guys, because you can bounce anything with it. Alrighty, if you're somehow grinding, this is pretty decent to bounce something away and then you can trigger Sarah as well. Okay, next, let's talk about our Floodgate Trap Holes. Our Trap Holes in general, there's only two! But Bortle, you're mad. Yes, but guess what guys? This makes perfect sense. You want to eliminate the chances of opening these. And if you do open them, that's fine. You can set them, guys. That sucks. But if you don't, you have a target to search for with Marmillo or to set with Sarah. So I think two is very important. Again, you are not wanting to grind with this deck, okay? If your opponent specials Elich, even if it's in defense mode, guess what? We'll talk about it in the extra deck in a second. We already mentioned Impermanence, one of the best cards in the deck, guys. And we are playing Fogblade at 3. Not 1, not 2, but 3. This card is nuts, especially going 1st or 2nd. This will steal so many games because it's a level 4, guys. For some weird reason, I forgot to mention Parallel Exceed, my goodness. This card right here is insane. It's from Eternity Code. It gives Trap Tricks that final boost to spam out rank 4s. And guess what? The only rank 4 you need is Reflasia and our win button right now, guys. So, why is this here? Well, why is Format in here is because it can search Parallel Exceed. Oh, and before you check me and say, Bortle, you missed timing if you make something with a uh, Format Skipper to search a Parallel Exceed and you can't special it. Well, guess what? This explains why you see those Sky Strikers in the extra deck, guys. Alrighty, in the past I've been messing with this, but this is like the perfect example to run this in this deck, guys. So, basically, what you need to do is normal Foreman Mudskipper, right? Reveal Hayate, copying that name, alrighty? Attribute, all that stuff. Now, you link into Kagari, alrighty? Now, Foreman Mudskipper triggers in the graveyard, search Parallel Exceed, that's fine. Guess what? Now you make Hayate over the Kagari, and now you trigger that Parallel Exceed you just searched for. Are you kidding me? And then once Parallel Exceed activates on the field, you special another one from the deck. Yeah. 4 plus 4 equals Utopia Double equals win condition. Ridiculous. And guess what, guys? Now you can turn your Hayate and your Zexal into this guy, Penistag. That's all you need. You win. That's all you need right there. Piercing, 10,000, boom, that is it. But Bortle, what if they affect Valor, Ash Blossom? No, guys, you have Call by the Grave. You're negating all that stuff, alrighty? This deck is insane. I promise you, try it out. 
you're going to get some insane results. And guess what? It is not 100% perfect in the main deck. That's why side decks are amazing. But this is the template for you to go crazy. Let's go ahead and talk about the rest of the extra deck and why we chose to play this. Obviously, Sarah, you need two, all right? Just trust me, you need two. You, you just got to play two. Obviously, we already talked about the Kagari and the Hayate. Insane. Penistag, insane. Phoenix, just in case you want to pop some back row, draw a card with Sarah in case you're climbing. There are chances where you open double or nothing and don't discard it because you can still make some heavy damage by attacking with Utopia over a monster doing some insane damage right there. All right, next we have a uh, Brutal Sword Dragon. Yeah, this card is insane. All right, again, guys, if you can't kill him with your Topia engine, you can just fall back and make a Bortle Sword, uh, Bortle Sword Dragon and kill him that way. All right, now we have Mega Clops. Believe it or not, there's some decks out there that have no outs to Mega Clops, at least no main deck outs. All right, how do you make this? Well, guess what, guys? Going second, you can make this with your Numeron engine. All right, with Numeron Calling, you can make Mega Clops. By using these three bad boys, we have this Ekum, Devi, Trini. Oh man. Alright, these three guys. That's all you need. This is all you need for your Numeronic Seats. That is all you need. All we need to do is resolve the one calling, and that's it. If you don't resolve it, guess what? That's fine. Just play with your Trap Tricks engine, guys. Alrighty? Man, that is just nuts. And obviously, we have the Zexel over here. This is insane, guys. Okay, you are seriously gonna mind. Uh, I don't want to curse. You're going to mess up your opponent's mindset if you summon Zexel, set some back row, pass. They're probably thinking, oh man, he's playing Elich. Uh, probably should have. But no, we're playing Trap Tricks with Zexel, guys. Alrighty, so what are they going to do? Are they going to set a card, pass? Are they going to, like, not think you're going to kill him? You're getting in there, guys. Alright, trust me, and if they said something, you're gonna kill him with Utopia Double. So, yeah, there you go, man. Alrighty, so, yeah, that's gonna conclude this deck profile. So, Triff, let me know what you think about this deck. And obviously, your fan base, let me know what you think about this deck as well. And make sure to check out my YouTube channel and throw a sub my way. Sub for Bortle. And don't forget to sub for Triff as well. Subscribe to this channel. My goodness. So, that's gonna be it. Thank you for allowing me to invade your channel. Oh god, yes. Portal out. Thank you guys for watching for the end of the video. Numeron Trap Tricks is a legitimate deck. We should all be worried about it. Unless we play Pendulum, then you don't need to worry about it. Because Pen best deck. Don't forget to get a beautiful trip game plan in the description below. They will sell out. I'm trying to tell you guys. Uh, my friends was a little upset about it, about one of our mats selling out and he couldn't get it. But if you guys want a mat, make sure to get it ASAP before they sell out. And don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe. Because Pen Best Deck and Big Shot of the Bortle come on the channel. We'll see you guys next video. Peace. <laughs>